for this problem, we have some explicit unknowns. So given in the picture, the unknowns are as follows. We got T naught is zero. We have T final, or you could just say T is 8.0 seconds. We have V naught being positive 6.0 meters per second. We have acceleration as positive 2.0 meters per second squared. And that's basically about it. Um, with this, we have a few other assumptions we could make. Uh, for example, the starting position of the speedboat can be said to be at zero. Again, you know, we can make zero wherever we want it to be. But uh, we chose zero to be at the starting point because it's the most convenient for our problem. So therefore, we have two things we want to find. Uh, they say to find the final velocity or velocity, if you will, of the speedboat and to find the final displacement, or you could just say the displacement at the very end. Let's go ahead and look at what we need to do to find V final first. One equation comes to mind. We have four kinematic equations, but one comes to mind that both involve the final, uh, the unknown quantity and all the quantities that we do know. And that equation is v final squared is equal to v initial squared plus 2a delta x. Now most kinematic equations will just have x in it, but delta is the most proper way of saying it. So let's go ahead and check this out. What do we know? Well, what we need to know first, we need to find v final, so I'm going to box it. We know what v initial is, that's given right here. We know what acceleration is, it's given here. And we know, uh, Delta X. Oh, actually, we don't know Delta X. Sorry, let's start over. We actually use this equation because this aligns better with the knowns and it has what we do need to know as well. So we need to know what VF is. We know what V naught is. We know what A is. And we know what Delta T is. Delta T is given right here. It's basically T final minus T naught. So we know what that is. All we got to do is plug and chug. So V naught is positive 6.0. I'm going to leave out the units for simplicity. A is going to be 2.0 and delta T is going to be 8.0. Plug it into the calculator. We get V final is going to be 22 meters per second. So that's basically easy enough because we we're lucky to have a known already, all the knowns already covered and one unknown in the equation. Generally, it's we're not as lucky, but at least we're lucky here. For part B, we want to find the final displacement and we know all this stuff, plus we also know this. Now, generally speaking, we don't want to use this as our one of our knowns. We want to use what's already given, but if we can't use that, then we can just use this. Um, it so happens that we don't need this final velocity to find out part B, which is finding the displacement. We can actually use this equation here. And uh, we'll basically have everything we need on the right side of the equation up here in the knowns pile. So we're gonna box what we need to know. That's final displacement. We know what the initial displacement is. It's gonna be zero as we've defined. Uh, we know the initial velocity, six. We know delta T, it's eight. We know A, it's two. And we know delta T, again, it's eight. We're gonna plug it all in here. So it's zero. This is positive six, this is eight, this is two, and this is again eight. If you plug and chug, which is basically the, what this problem is asking you to do, you're gonna go ahead and get final displacement to be 100 and I think 12 meters, but we round it down to 110 because of the significant figures. Now, if you wanna say the 112 instead, that's totally fine for this class at least. So we're basically done with this problem.